Hello everyone, this is Osiris Frost. Today I'd like to take you on a look inside the 600i by Origin Jumpworks. This is an absolutely gorgeous ship. If the Reclaimer was evocative of aliens, then the 600i calls to mind Star Trek. As I walk around here, it's easy to imagine yourself and your crew zipping across the galaxy in search of uncharted worlds while passing the time on your travels in style in the lounge. We begin this tour in the cargo bay. This lift is where your rover will live if you have one loaded, or if not, you can house some cargo. Moving toward the front of the ship, we pass the forward lift, finding ourselves in the captain's quarters. This space is richly appointed, but the decor pales in comparison to the view. Moving back toward main cargo, we see the forward lift here on our right. This lift can take us up to the top deck as well as down to the surface. Through this door is the rear lift, which only travels between decks, and down these stairs over here are the crew quarters. Origin didn't skimp here either, with each crew member getting their own comfortable bed and infotainment system. Through the back we find some storage, as well as the showers and latrine. Backtracking to the forward lift, we'll head up to the top deck. Just off the lift, we're in a small corridor. Opposite us are escape pods, and to our right is ops. But first, let's pop into the bridge on our left. Would you look at this view? Just look at it. You could actually get the entire ship out of your field of view. These two forward chairs not only split ship systems duties, but also provide remote turret control as well. Left seat controls the lower turret, and the right seat controls the rear. The forward facing weaponry is controlled from the pilot seat there in the middle of the bridge. Let's head on back to Ops. Right away you notice the giant holographic sphere. I'm getting myself excited thinking about the possibilities for command and control operations run out of this room. Right now, this is all it is, but I can't wait to see what they do with it. Aft of the hollow globe are two scanning stations. Currently, these just manage ship systems as well, but perhaps in the future they will offer exploration gameplay. Moving on. Here again is the rear lift, and beyond that is what looks like some sort of storage room. Maybe for getting ready for away missions? It's hard to say, a lot of the functionality for containers on board this ship isn't in yet. Let's head back up to that door we just passed and see what's doing in there, shall we? It's the recreation area! This is where all of your friends will be hanging out while you're busy flying the ship and trying not to crash into an asteroid or get shot by a vanduul. Up top we have a bar and a lounge. and down the stairs is a view screen for catching the latest Murray Cup race. A billiards table, and a well-stocked kitchen with dining area. To either side of the lounge you can find engineering access. And again, these containers and ship components are not interactable as of this PTU build, but probably most of that stuff will live in here. Well, that about does it for the 600i Exploration Module Ship Tour. If you have any questions or thoughts, please be sure to put them down in the comments. Until next time, I've been Osiris Frost, and thanks for watching. That's all for today's show. Thanks for watching. If you're new to Star Citizen, or you know someone who's thinking of playing, you or they can earn 5,000 UEC on your account by registering with my referral code, which you can find in the show notes down below. If you have any questions, feedback, or episode suggestions, go ahead and leave them in the comments. And if you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.